Have you ever been writing a text or a social post of some kind and posted a link and all of a sudden a beautiful clickable box with a nice image of exactly what you wanted and a title and a description shows up almost as if the platform read your mind? Well, today you're going to learn that it didn't read your mind and it actually wasn't even the platform that did it. It was the site itself. It's called the Open Graph Protocol and we're going to show you how to do it on your sites. All right, so we're starting off with a very simple website here. We just have our index.html and we have a style.css and we're linking to this uh, CSS sheet here. And we have our title, obviously the body is just in a single H1 or a single heading. And we have our title as open graph pipe home. And this would be a typical syntax for, you know, some kind of title on a site where maybe you have an open graph pipe about us and open graph pipe projects or something like if you have, you know, if it's a portfolio site and you're showcasing your projects off. And so it's pretty fairly, it's fairly typical to have something like this or to see something like this as your title. Um, but if you wanted to actually share a link to somebody, you might not want it to actually have open graph pipe home as you know, the name of the site that you're, you're sharing, right? And so what uh, these social platforms did is almost all of them respect what's called the open graph protocol. And what it does is it allows us to actually add metadata in here that when we post a link either to you know, a, a social platform like Facebook or even a text message, um, they can then actually parse the head of the document and figure out what to display in like a rich manner. So you actually have rich text, you have a rich experience for your user, and you can change this for every page as well, which is even cooler. So uh, like I'll go ahead and kind of show you what I mean here. Let's go ahead and just kind of show you what the Open Graph protocol really is real quick. So again, it's defined as just, you know, a protocol that enables any web page to become a rich object in a social graph, which, you know, is just essentially basic metadata, uh, believe it or not. It's almost always just tags. And what we have as a necessity is we have a title type image and URL. So we can go ahead and we can add these tags to our site and, you know, actually get us like a bit better of, a, uh, of an experience. So if we wanted to actually showcase what it has or what happens right now, if we were to go to something like Facebook um, and well, actually, let's back up a second. Let's go to the actual site real quick. So let's reload this. And we can see that this is the actual deployed site. I have it deployed using GitHub pages. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna copy this link and we're gonna pull up Facebook. And so if we wanna go ahead and post something, you can see that it posts this right here. It says, Open Graph Pipe Home as the title. It grabs that from literally the title of the head. And it has our actual URL there, the covalence-io.github.io. And it's kind of uh, gross looking to say the least, right? I mean, I don't know if I would wanna click on this. It looks a little sketchy. Um, and to be honest, like it doesn't really give us a lot of information on what we're, what we're getting ourselves into, so. Let me try and zoom this in a little bit. There you go. So slightly better, slightly better view. But again, this is not exactly uh, you know, what we want to be seeing when we post a link. So how can we make this better? Well, even just the absolute basic um, meta tags here will enable something significantly better. And again, if we wanted to do optional metadata, there's a ton of additional things that we can put in here. A description, a description might be nice. Um, let's go ahead and add that as well. But we have structured properties here, and I mean, it can get very complex and very complicated and I highly, or I highly recommend that you get into this and you just play around with it and you see what each of these tags will do for you because each one has a different uh, unique uh, property that it will add to your rich experience on your website when you share the link, right? And so um, these are almost a necessity in this day and age for any type of website that sells anything especially or, or really any type of website that you want people to use. <laughs> And so uh, let's go ahead and add these meta tags real quick. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just copy them and then we're gonna paste them. Wow, I don't know what happened there. Let's go ahead and fix that. And we have the title here. Let's just say, um, instead of open graph pipe home, we want it to just be open graph demo. And so this will actually show for every page. You can change this as your pages change, which is very nice as well. Um, just to make it a little bit more of a user-friendly title. Now the type, it's not a video.movie. We're just gonna put website. And the URL, uh, we have the URL here. Let's go ahead and just copy that. All right, so it's that HTTPS, covalence, IO, GitHub, IO, open graph. And then we can actually put an image. Now I added a assets images folder here. So let's go ahead and we're just going to put assets images and then it's the covalence transparent.png. And that'll actually add this image as a image <laughs> it'll actually add that png as an image to our rich text or our rich link i like to call it a rich link i guess um, i don't really know what you'd want to call it but you can call it whatever you want again 
it's just the actual thing that pops up when you post a link in something like a iMessage or a Facebook or a Twitter post, right? All right, so these are the necessities. We have them in our site. Let's go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and push these changes real quick. So let's just make sure that it looks good. Yep, only the index changed. Actually, let's go ahead and change the color of this as well, just so we know that it actually deployed, not blues, not the blues brother, just blue. Uh, let's go ahead and get commit this. So we're going to commit um, adding open graph data. And actually, you know what I didn't I didn't put the description. So let's actually add the description real quick. Let's say an open graph demo by covalence. All right. So now we're going to commit this and we're going to push. All right, so we went ahead and we pushed. It should start building everything we need for um, on GitHub and it should deploy the site automatically, but let's go ahead and just kind of take a look at this real quick. All right, we can see that it is building. So we can check the details, just kind of check out and make sure you know when it finishes. Um, but in the meantime, like I said, again, a lot of these things are super cool and uh, some, some social media platforms will ignore a lot of these, but other ones will respect all of them. And so again, depending on what site you're looking at, um, you might need certain uh, meta tags, whereas others you might not. I think Twitter, Twitter actually has its own open graph protocol altogether, uh, believe it or not. And so I don't know if this site has it. Let's see. Profile. Hmm. Let's go ahead and see uh, Twitter open graph. Yeah, so they have Twitter cards. So this is a meta tag here. Um, Twitter site, Twitter creator. So Twitter has its own actual properties here in addition to the default ones. I don't believe Facebook does. They may have you know their own as well. But again, you might not even care if Twitter shows certain things on, on its actual site. So um, it's all up to you in terms of how complex or how complicated you wanna make this. But again, in my mind, more is always better. And so I highly recommend you just put as much as you can in there. All right, so it looks like this actually deployed. Let's go ahead and make sure, yep, text turned blue. So let's go ahead and go back to Facebook. We're going to, um, let's make sure we actually don't have any cash. So I'm just gonna empty cash and hard reload here. And now when we paste, oh, we have the meta tags. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and grab this link again. And when we paste it now, what we're gonna actually get is the same thing. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead, hold on, let's go back to here, make sure that we actually have what we need in here. We have our title, we have our OG image, all right? So let's go ahead and try and figure out what happened here. Yeah, so we're still getting the old title, so clearly something is cached. It might take a second, um, but, at some point, yep, there we go, all right. So at this point, it finally reloaded and now we actually have all of the metadata that we put in here, right? So we have the image, we have the actual URL, which was already showing correctly before, but you might actually need to change that, believe it or not. Um, you have, because a lot of times you might have multiple URLs for a site, and so you may actually want to display your primary one, even if somebody posts a secondary URL. Uh, and then you have your title, the one that you actually put, not the one with the pipe home. And then you have your description underneath as well. So this is a much better looking link. You can actually now even delete this and just, um, let's see, will it let me delete this? Yeah, so now we can actually leave this in here and now we can just actually write our post without having the link in there. Or you can choose to leave it in there, it's not a big deal. Again, but this is just Facebook. Literally, when you, when you paste the link, they're grabbing this URL and they're looking at the head and they're just parsing that data and figuring out what to display. So they're choosing to display it in this format. Other social media platforms might have the image on top and then this, the description underneath, but they're just acknowledging the open graph protocol and they check this every time you post a link. So it will actually go out and look at your site every single time. As you saw, there was a little bit of caching before, um, but it did, it did actually end up updating fairly quickly. And so now again, we have 
the updated information. And if I change this image, that would also update the next time that I went and went ahead and posted. So again, highly recommend you put this in there. You need this stuff for when you actually have people post your link and share your dingots, just share your links. It's an additional way to market your site. And a really cool thing that I've seen with a lot of e-commerce sites is that they'll actually have a picture of the product if you paste a page with the actual, like for actual selling of a certain product. So you can choose what you show and that is just an additional way to market your site and make people want to use it. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, I tried to keep it quick and simple. I wanted to show you really the basic and common meta tags that people generally add for Open Graph Protocol. And like I said, different social platforms will acknowledge different tags. And so I highly recommend that you just get in and you start playing with them yourself and making sure that whatever your site in particular needs, you add. So. If, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you check out our merch, and also make sure that you throw us any additional comment or content ideas that you'd like to see in the future. Otherwise, we're gonna keep cranking stuff out. We'll see you soon.